Ngoi TV, informed economist and business perspective. You see again uh, uh, issues for nurturing industrialization. I'm skipping some details here. Uh, I'm skipping some details. Let's move to cooperatives. So, in terms of cooperatives here, and I'm relating this to industrialization, I think you have only two slides and then I'll, uh, I'll be calling it a day. Really, we are talking about business organizations, including industries, owned, operated, sometimes financed, managed democratically uh, by, by, by members. This is really uh, the key issue. So, we see cooperatives been very relevant in the industrialization space. And uh, I understand some colleagues, some seated in this uh, hall, have written uh, substantially on this. Uh, uh, quite a lot of cooperatives are really very relevant in industrialization space uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know, establishing, owning, managing, uh, financing uh, 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 you know, industrialization. Uh, now, uh, someone who is here, uh, Katundu, 2018, he did a paper, I think a book chapter really, on the role of cooperative organization, cooperative organization in Tanzania's industrialization. I cannot speak about this because he is here. He can choose to, to, to elaborate. But really what we are saying is uh, the literature tells us, and correctly so, that cooperatives really, uh, are, uh, you know, we are not, it's like we are not coming from nowhere uh, to talk about cooperatives and industrialization. It's something that is very, very real, and literature supports that. Uh, Motul, uh, Moturi and Wekesa, uh, they, they have written something on Kenya industrialization and specifically on coffee and dairy cooperatives that have ventured into manufacturing uh, in ability to add value. You know, we could go on and on, and uh, there's two people, uh, Anania and Nade, maybe one, one of them should be here, I don't know, but I know someone is based here, or rather was based there, I'm not sure, and someone Nelson Mandela, 2020, only yeah, last year, they wrote on uh, strategies for uh, uh, agricultural-based industrialization through cooperatives in Tanzania. So what we are seeing here is uh, uh, that cooperatives really have been involved in the industrialization process, and the government, of course, uh, recognizes this. So uh, we are not uh, coming from nowhere to talk about this. This is my own addition, that yes, there is, and this is, I think, last but one slide, there is a great relationship between uh, cooperatives and industrialization, but things won't just happen like that, you know. We say good things don't happen, good things are made to happen. There are some preconditions that have to be in place for uh, cooperatives to play their rightful uh, role in the industrialization process. And of course, in the first place, I would say, you know, I'm taking this risk again, second time, talking about uh, uh, cooperatives uh, at the home, at the mother and father of uh, cooperatives, the cooperative mo college motion regaining the lost trust. I think talk to anybody who will tell you, well, when it comes to trust on cooperatives, given history, there are some trust that has been lost. Yeah, I want to venture into this, and I, I think there are people who are better than me to talk about that. Uh, again, we'll need to, you know, to, to, you know, to build the capacity, really, in various contexts on issues related to cooperatives, broadly speaking, but then cooperatives as uh, related to industrialization. Issues of governance, in its very broad sense, really. There are issues, quite a lot of issues on governance. I sit in quite a lot of boards, and I understand governance issues are issues. That's normally how I put it, you know. It could be financial management, it could be, uh, you, you know, issues of uh, corruption and all kind of stuff. Issues of financing, issues of trust, you know, because uh, if there are no trust between members, between partners, really you cannot have a strong cooperatives, and by extension, really, they cannot really foster the industrialization agenda. Uh, of course, also the question of having business ori orientation, private sector-minded uh, issues, you know. We have been, unfortunately, in my view, we have seen uh, cooperatives uh, in a uh, business um, way. You know, we never think the mathematics and the business of business within cooperatives, you know, those kind of things. We have been thinking about them as charities. My students understand me very well. Uh, I do tell them, you know, when it comes to cooperatives, when it comes to business, and uh, we are not talking about, uh, and understand me very well, we are not talking about Mother Teresa. You know, we are not talking about how sh buying for one shilling, for two shillings, and selling for one shilling. We are talking about profit and profit again. Now, it's not everybody within cooperatives thinks and acts a business in that context here. Yeah. 
uh, marketing and related issues. Uh, to come to the end, there is a need, in my view, to showcase successfully in industrial and related cooperatives because, really, uh, it's not all that have failed. We have uh, really good cases, but the question, to what extent are we, have we showcased them? You know, yesterday I was uh, at the launch of uh, East African Breweries uh, Sustainability Report, and I was talking about the youth, uh, you know, engaging youth in agriculture. And my discussion was, really, we have a lot of youth who are very successful in agriculture, but we highly showcase them. You know, they are hidden somewhere. This is the same for cooperatives. We have cooperatives that have been doing a very great job, but to what extent are they seen? And I think this, I would throw this as a challenge to this great university where, you know, you can document those kind of stuff. And of course, issues of having good legal policy and regulatory framework for cooperatives here to operate uh, will be precondition for succession, for, for, for successful industrialization through a cooperative. Conclusion. Of course, uh, we have seen for sure uh, that uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, you know, frameworks at global level, at uh, Afri African continental level, sub-regional, including SADC and the East African community, uh, industrialization efforts, you have seen them, you have seen them in Tanzania, and of course there have been some pro progress, really, you have to say, but there have been some uh, failures here and there, and so there are really quite uh, areas of uh, improvement. And uh, it's, it's quite fair, it's quite fair. Remember what I said on slide number one and two, uh, some countries have been industrializing for the past 260 years, and they are still have issues. We have been industrializing for the past only 60 years, so it's only natural that we'll be having issues. And I've said the issue is not to have issues, the issues is to solve issues. So, uh, for example, COPS now, in my view, they provide a platform within which we can uh, uh, industrialize. The last but one, of course, uh, going ahead, I would say, if we are to success in, uh, in our industrialization uh, through cooperatives, it's very important, of course, to benchmark against uh, what has been done uh, across the globe, and of course, to learn both positive and uh, negative lessons, actually, uh, from elsewhere, and uh, to tap, this is very important, to tap to industrialization potential that is embedded in a lot of cooperatives, but that are embedded in this board by itself. In 2008, I did a paper on the survival of cooperatives in the global financial and economic crisis. I really, cooperatives survived because of their resilience. I, my, I have a book that is coming, maybe it'll be coming this September, on the impact of uh, COVID-19 globally uh, and the responses that have happened. I'm seeing some cooperatives surviving uh, the pandemic, uh, and I've covered, I think, almost 150 countries or something like that. So we have to learn from those issues. Uh, in the interest of time, and of course, uh, because Taj is my friend, I don't like him to move me from here, allow me to pause here. Thank you.